All right, so we're going to do a power off stall. So it's the same exact configuration as slow flights, except we're, we're adding a descent and we're pulling the power to idle in the process, okay? So I got my road out here. This is my runway. Okay. This is to simulate an approach to landing stall, okay? So normal cruise power setting at first and then we'll slow her down, okay? So we've already done our clearing turn, altitude, radio call, and we have a suitable landing spot. Uh, power's going to go down to 15 inches manifold. Okay, now I'm going to bug my heading, if you would be so kind. 350. 350 on the dot, perfect. So I maintain my heading, my altitude, and my visual reference. I have my runway ahead of me, okay? Next, flaps 10 degrees, hold the nose down, maintain heading, altitude, I have my runway still, okay? You're in transition, have my hand on, on the uh, selector valve and the throttle. I have a tire. I have a tire. Aha, great. Next, heading, altitude, and I have my reference. Flaps go full, and what's gonna happen? Balloon. Gotta push the nose down nice and gently, okay? Right there, what's my normal approach speed? About 70 knots in this airplane? Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it down, keep the uh, uh, manifold pressure 15 inches. It's about 70 right now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently bump the nose down like this. Here's my approach to landing stall, okay? So I'm bumping it down, and when I start losing altitude, I count 1, 1,000 to 1,000, power goes to idle, car repeat, raise the nose for level flight. So right now I'm gonna hold 80 to 50, okay? okay. I'm gonna start slowly pulling the power back, or excuse me, the, uh, the yoke back, just to maintain level flight here. Holding it back, here's a stall horn. Here's the buffet. And there's a stall, so full power. RP in. Now gently relax the back pressure and slowly piss the nose up to a climb attitude. Once you have a climb attitude established, you need to take some flaps out, okay? Flaps go to 20 degrees immediately because that's less drag, okay? Maintain my heading, my altitude, I'm climbing right now, and I'm looking outside of my reference. I, well, we can't really see the reference right now, right. but we know we're under it. Over it. Okay. Next, when I see a positive rate of climb, my flaps will go to 10 degrees, okay? So I have a positive rate of climb, take your time, flaps 10 degrees, heading, I'm still climbing, and I'm maintaining my uh, heading here, okay? Okay. Taking our time, what's the next step in this process for the cleanup? You need to bring your gear up. Gear is coming up, okay, so gear in transition, pull it out, pull it up. All right, we got the amber light, gear is up. And the last thing we do is maintain a positive rate of climb, so we can uh, bring the flaps all the way to the up position, okay? So take your time. Big common error with this maneuver is people, people will reach down and, and uh, retract the flaps when they're in the nose down attitude. So take your time. Flaps are going up. Maintain my heading. I'm climbing back to my entry altitude. What I can do when I get here is pitch power trim so I can pitch the nose down. Set my power for cruise flight, which I'm pretty much at, 19, 20 inches manifold, and then conduct a flow if we'd like to. So that's it. Nice job. So, all right, so you're set.